You're about to listen to the most informative, persuasive, and inspiring show ever. The James A. Hendrick School of Leadership. Happy, happy Constitution Tuesday. All right. Today I want to talk to you about, you know, we're combining the First and Second Amendment. Okay, now the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, I got to say this. It's not absolute. There, there are limits. Like advertising, believe it or not. <clears throat> I think the FCC needs to do better at running in deceptive advertising. Um, to be honest with you, the people should put limits on what our government has the right to advertise. You want to know why? In advertising, just like in other media, a woke agenda is getting crammed down our throats. I don't know how many times it seems like every video... I'll watch. There's the ad for Biden Care. And most of the people I talk to, nobody wants it. I know I don't. I'm scared of what I do. Take away choices. They're desperate. Okay. Now, freedom of religion and freedom of assembly, yes, those should be absolute. Freedom of the press should have some limits, of course. And, of course, uh, free speech. Now, I don't think free speech, speech should be limited by a few. I think free speech should be governed by many. Like it always has been before this big woke revolution. Oh, I'd want to say more about this, but I, I just won't. I just won't. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stir up a hornet's nest. Okay. I'm already aware of a com a convoy of trucks that are coming in to help protect the Texas border. border. And I side with Texas. Okay. Because I happen to be from there, from 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 the state, I happen to love Texas. Is everything per- perfect and hunky dory here? No, no. But I say this: I don't think our government, the officials in our government, are meant to, are, are really doing what they say they're going to do in the oath of office, protecting. The Constitution of the United States. No. Now, Second Amendment. I believe that, along with the free press and the free, free religion and assembly, those are absolute. The, the right to bear arms should not be infringed, okay? You have a Jimmy all, all the gun violence. Why don't we stop making it such a stupid issue? And you start looking at mental health issues. The people behind the violence. Whoever does these things is disturbed. Can't sit there and... and, and you, 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 you crazy liberals can't keep blaming the guns. But Jimmy, you're blind. Why should you care about guns? I'm because I do. I shot rifles in summer camp when I was a kid, okay? I have them all love guns. That being said, you think I let myself get a hold of once unsupervised? No. Because I happen to have a double whammy. Blindness and and bipolar disorder. So there you go. I'm not trying to make this a hot button issue, but I will say this. Um, next month, beginning in February, I want to talk about the Fourth Amendment because that's also an amendment that is being tramped on 
Folks, we gotta start taking this country back. Okay? We can't just plug with this anymore. We've got to take this country back. Hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks World Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the James A. Hendricks School Leadership Classroom. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, keep up, please keep up your faith. Please keep up your hope. I say this every day to self-soothe. Jesus saves and I'm okay. Therefore, put this down in your soul, please. Please. Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. Take care and be proactively informed. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, really, really love you. God bless you and have a blessed day. See you tomorrow.